It's a big Week 11 AFC East matchup as the New York Jets visit the Buffalo Bills. Now, both teams, they've been struggling lately. And both, well, they badly need a win. So the stakes are high for this one. We're going to preview the game with my guy, Matt Perino. He covers the Bills for Syracuse.com. You see him right there. Matt, it's been a long time. How are you doing? What's up, man? How are you? I'm, I'm great. Uh, it's been a very interesting season for the Bills and a very busy uh, week. And it's going to get a lot more interesting here this weekend in Orchard Park. Always interesting when it is Jets Bills. And Matt, the last time I saw you, you were in studio with me right before the season was going to start. We talked about these two teams before that season opener. Things are a lot different since that time. The Jets, they are four and five. The Bills are five and five. Both teams have lost two in a row. There were good vibes in Buffalo before the last time these two teams played. What's the vibes around the fan base right now and also the team heading into this Week 11 matchup? Well, for the fans, I think it's a lot of frustration. I mean, you go into another year with Super Bowl aspirations, and it just doesn't feel like that they're the same team that entered the season. Now, there's a big reason for that. They're missing uh, a good chunk of their defense. Matt Milano, uh, all pro, out for the year. Uh, Tredavious White, all pro, out for the year once again. So they've had to kind of mix and match as they try to replace some very important pieces on the defensive side of the ball. And then the offense... It just hasn't really been easy for that unit. Over the last six games, they've lost four of them, and they're averaging 20 points per game, and that is the not, not the Josh Allen-led offense that Bills fans are used to seeing. Yeah, definitely not used to seeing that. And I want to talk about those offensive struggles because amid those offensive struggles, they fired offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey on Tuesday. So i got to ask you this. Was a change needed at OC for this team, and do you think the change will actually spark the Bills' offense? You know, before the move was made, even after the game, like I didn't feel like Dorsey was the rightful fall guy, if you will, for this whole operation. I mean, you can you could say that the decision to go and become the defensive coordinator has uh, hampered Sean McDermott as a head coach. You know, the special teams coordinator had a big gaffe at the end of the game the other night. There was a lot of potential fall guys. But the more I've th thought about it since then, the Bills need a, needed a dramatic change. And I think they need to have some fun again. Like if you look at their sideline during the games, if you look at the, you know, how they talk about the team after the game, it doesn't feel like this is the same group that, you know, was having all this fun and scoring all these points for years. And so Ken Dorsey out, Joe Brady in, and I think part of the reason for that is to try to infuse a new message, a new vibe around the offense and try to get them to have a little bit more fun. All right, we will see if they have a little bit more fun in that change. We'll get to see that very quickly this week. Now, speaking of vibes, the vibes around the Jets fan base, as you know, before this season, very optimistic right before week one. But much of that optimism shifted when Aaron Rodgers went down for the season. So from the outside, what's your assessment of this Jets team with Zach Wilson under center? And do you think that they have a shot? Can they make it to the postseason? There's an office clip of Michael Scott when he's talking to Toby when they're when he's leaving the job and he kind of goes like this and he like tells them not to tell the whole room what they're actually saying i feel like that's what robert sala is doing every time he's <laughs> in a press conference because it's like somebody off the screen telling him do not talk about what's actually happening inside this building i mean zach wilson has struggled and aaron Rodgers apparently is going to try to make a comeback this season i'm very um hesitant to believe that that's even a possibility but we will see they have a super bowl caliber defense they have an offense with weapons i think their offensive line has been a little bit better they're not a very well coached offense and for somebody that watched nathaniel hackett up close as an offensive coordinator in buffalo uh years ago i'm not very surprised i think aaron Rodgers mitigated a lot of the problems with him at the you know head of the ship and with zach wilson you have to be almost perfect operationally to be successful because if you're making mistakes, they're too limited as an offense with that quarterback to be able to overcome them. You know, the Bills haven't been turning the ball over too much uh, the last couple of weeks. They got one last week, but to me, that's the key to playing the Bills. If you don't turn the ball over with the way their offense has been playing, you give yourself a good chance to win. Yeah, they will have a chance to win. And we saw in that first game between the two teams, obviously the Bills turned the ball over too much against the Jets, and that led to a loss in that one. Okay, last thing for me, Matt, because we've got to put you in a prediction hot seat. You know we've got to do that. Who comes out on top in this week's AFC East showdown between the Bills and the Jets? Are you going with the Buffalo Bills, or are you going with the Jets to make it two in a row over the Bills this season? Zach Wilson's played well against the Bills. Uh, I think there's an argument to be made that this is going to be a close game. 
But I think that Robert Sala kind of went out of pocket a little bit a couple weeks ago when he started puffing out his chest and boasting about his defense and all these great games they had uh, against all these elite quarterbacks. Josh Allen keeps receipts, and it hasn't gone great. He's been a little bit herky-jerky, but I feel like the spark happening this week, the, tr- the, the attempt to provide a spark by going to Brady, has the potential to maybe let Josh Allen play a little bit more freely Go back to doing what he does well, lean into the things that he wants to do. The Bills have been running the ball a little bit better, which I think is key in this game. They have to be able to do it a little bit. I like the Bills because if they go up in this game, because they go up at home early, I wonder if Zach Wilson is going to start pressing and and maybe turning the ball over. I think the Bills win big. I don't have a score for you, but I I do think that they're going to come out and respond. They have to. Their season's on the line. Season is on the line. Big game for the Bills. They're 5-5. Five and five. Also, big game for the Jets at 4-5. and five. Both teams, as I said before, in need of a win. Matt Perino, he'll be there covering the Bills for Syracuse.com, doing the great work that he always does. Matt, always a pleasure to see you. Got to see you again next time in studio, and uh, we'll see how this Week 11 matchup plays out. Thanks for having me, buddy. Have a great weekend. You too.